We got some more Czechoslovakian candy over here. So what the hell does that say? Anyone know yet? I don't know. Might be tasty. We'll find out. All right, everybody. So here we go. We got another roulette match, and he has Gligar. I've got this dude. So I'm going to try and put him right to sleep. Um, because that's what this guy does. So it brings in a drift bloom and I miss hypnosis. I'm like, well, that sucks. Uh, so I decide to go for it again. Uh, I score it this time, which is cool. And then he's got Chesto. I'm like, well, that sucks. Um, it's more Shadow Ball. I take it fairly well enough. And then I completely didn't even think about Unburden. I, I don't know. It either didn't cross my mind or I figured I'm a Crobat. I'm going to be faster anyway. And I wasn't. So... That sucks, because uh, this Crobat does not have Roost. Um, he's got an extremely annoying set to face, but unfortunately he can't heal himself. He's too busy doing other stuff. So I switch out of there as this guy comes back in for Stealth Rock. I'm like, well, figures, because um, he might potentially was afraid of the Taunt at first. So I go over to this dude. Um, I do have a Scarf of Zelf on this team, but I know that Diamond Pearl has a glitch where if you U-turn to somebody with a choice who also knows U-turn, you're forced to use U-turn again. So, I didn't know how that would work, um, if, it, if I got glitched on it or not, and uh, all that jazz. So I just went over to Flygon, tried to kill it with a Draco Meteor, I don't finish it off. Um, and I end up switching immediately back to Crobat, mostly as fodder, um, more than anything else, and because obviously Flygon's not going to get a big hit off um, at this point. Um, fly, or this guy was mostly just, just fodder at that point, so... I get off Confuse Ray. Uh, both of us were surprised that I would be faster. I'm like, well, that was cool. Um, I thought about maybe U-turning because it could get some damage in there, but uh, Confuse Ray is probably going to be fine. Um, so that, that worked out well. I was not expecting to score that whatsoever. And now I've got some options. I do still have Scarf Flygon. Um, I do have this dude that I can bring in for either a Rapid Spin, which would hurt a lot since he has plus... Excuse me, since he has plus two speed, not a rapid spin, gyro ball, since he's got plus two speed. Or I can set up Stealth Rock, which I choose to do because I figured he would switch. Um, so that's cool. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I was going to mention that I know Scarf Flygon will be faster because Crobat was faster without a Scarf. So that's always good to know. Um, and then I go to Turpentine, which originally he roulette picked me a Breloom, and I said, no, I don't want to use a Breloom. People get mad at me because I always have Breloom often in roulette, so give me another number. And I get a Mantine, which works out great. Um, I get all the dudes I like in roulettes a lot because I put cool guys at numbers like 1, 13, 50, 69, and 100. They get picked a lot, so I get them a lot. Um, anyway, it's, I'm really glad I got this guy because he's always a dude I've liked a lot, but he just isn't very good. So... Um, and mine's a unique set, as always, and he's got Mirror Coat, which I think is kind of cool. So I bring in uh, Fori over here, just in case he wanted to Toxic, and it wouldn't be a Xerxes vid if there was no Disconnect in the middle. So due to the sheer amount of hacks that we had on moves, um, yeah, notice you see I, I mentioned to him, like, every time somebody else hosts, it always disconnects. And he hosted that last one, so I'm like, let me host this time. And there's no Disconnect in the rest of the video, yay! So whatever. Um, because of the sheer amount of hacks and potential stuff that we had, that there's no way we could mimic it, we just said, you know what, screw it. We're just going to battle, ex you know, just brand new from the start. Um, no same moves, no nothing. So I go right for Confuse Ray this time, and I figure I'm going to try and Confuse Ray Air Slash hacks him. 50% chance, that's fine, he passes that. With a 30% flinch, nothing. I'm like, well, 50% two turns in a row is hard enough to pass, let alone with two instances of 30% flinch in a row so if he wants to call mine I still should be able to get him through here nope he passes through both of those both turns in a row I'm just like come on so I think I go for it one more time it's gotta happen right he snaps out of confusion doesn't flinch again gets to rest up to full I'm just like Jesus Christ man and then Chesto wakes it up so now he gets the freaking um, unburdened boost I'm just like what am I supposed to do so, I score my Hypnosis now, thankfully it doesn't miss, and ironically, we're in almost the same position we were in last video. He's at full health, I'm at, you know, one hit left after taking two Shadow Balls, or a double Shadow Ball because of the two Calm Minds, and he's got his Unburden boost. Um, so the only real difference is that he had plus two Calm Minds, but he switched. And then I U-turned out and he brought Gligar back in. I'm just like, oh, this is hilarious. We're not intending to, but we ended up in the same place. So 
ends up being really funny. Um, and then instead of going to Flygon for Jayco Meteor, because I know it didn't kill last time, I'm going to go over to Mantine this time. Plus, I know that it's a Baton Passer. It doesn't have Stealth Rock. So I know he's not going to want to taunt me, even though I have Toxic, because of the threat of Surf that he doesn't want to take for free. So I'm going to go for Toxic, hoping that Blastoise comes in and I can score that. Um, he's going to go over to this guy instead. And I'm not quite sure why. I guess... I mean, he certainly wants to Stone Edge me for a kill, but uh, Surf was a very, very easy move to go for at that point, and he brings in something also weak to Surf. So I'm not quite sure how that worked out, um, but I only get a Toxic on it, so, you know, so be it. And I've got a few options now. I can obviously go to Fortress, or I can go right back to Flygon, but I'm going to spend a turn just to protect in case he wanted to predict one of those and switch. Uh, he didn't get a little bit of extra Toxic. Lots of good things going on with that Protect, so that's good. Um, and now I have to think about, again, where do I want to switch to? And this time he predicts it, so bleh, he makes a great move and goes over to Ape as I picked Fory instead of Flygon. And uh, now I've just got to switch immediately back. So I'm going to go to a or Ape. I'm going to go to uh, Bat because he's pretty much fodder at this point again. And... I know that if something awesome happens, like he does nothing to me, like he just did, I can threaten him with Air Slash. I could put up a Confuse Ray. Um, I look at the sand damage and how much it's going to do, and it's going to do 21 points, which means it's going to do 42 points over two turns, which means I got three more turns of this guy, which is great. So I go for Air Slash first, just in case, because um, Ape is obviously a big threat, and I wanted to... Who, who knows, really? Um, I gotta get damage on something at some point. So, and at this point, I could either U-turn or Confuse Ray. I think U-turn is obviously the better play because the dude's already sleeping, and it's gonna give me some options. Um, I could go to Scarf as Elf again, but I don't want to go with Thunderbolt just yet because he obviously has Gligar. So I don't want to get stuck with a Choice Poke on an immunity move when that dude happens to also be a Baton Passer. That's just bad news bears all over the place. So. <clears throat> frog in my throat so i end up deciding on going to flygon because flygon's got some options so i think i go right for draco meteor um i don't want to do flamethrower at this point because that's dumb he does have hidden power but i have no idea what his hidden power is if it's ice if it's grass if it's electric if it's freaking bug the hell if i know i know it's not fire because he's got flamethrower and i know it's not ground because he obviously has earth power so um so i finish him off and in comes this guy which now that I know that it's set, and I know that I've got a couple of guys that are going to be faster than his Scarf, or than his uh, Tyranitar, even if he does pass it to plus two, I'm not that worried. Um, and I know he can't kill Crobat, so I know I can get on in here, I can U-turn away if he wants to pass, and then I always mess up when I'm talking in a chat, playing in a game. I came in here with intention to U-turn, and then I come in here... And right before I click U-turn, I'm like, oh, wait, no, I can Hypnosis, duh. And I click Hypnosis, and as soon as I heard the sound, I'm like, Zerks, that's exactly why I didn't want to do. You know, there's no undo move or feature in freaking pokes. So many times I click a move that as soon as I click it, I'm like, why did I suddenly forget the reason why I did not want to click that three seconds ago? So I lose my Crobat as opposed to being able to U-turn out, um, which really it's not a big deal. It's not like I was going to hurt him, but I lose a fodder for it, which isn't cool. Um... He expected that he could survive one hit. Um, unfortunately for him, he's not going to be able to. So I'm, I'm able to break his chain, so to say. He doesn't get to pass off a plus two speed. So that's really cool. Um, I don't know what he would have given it to at the end of the day anyway. Um, I, I have a really nice mix of guys, it turns out. So um, he goes over to that fat cat. And I know how effective it is because I used it a couple of videos ago. So... I, what did I, did I just protect? I forget if I just protected or not. Probably to block a fake out, I think, was the point of that. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to switch out and go to Fortress, I believe, because Fortress doesn't care as much if it gets paralyzed, plus that Fortress has rest, which I don't think I can take advantage of rest in this roulette case, but he still has it. So, but uh, unfortunately he has U-turn like he should, which makes perfect sense in all the world. He goes right back out to Ape, and I'm like, man... Having that Crobat fodder right now would be really, really nice. So, looking at what he has left. He has Ape, he's got Tyranitar, he's got Blastoise, and he's got that fat cat. And 
based on the guys that I have, I'm like, well, I do have Reggie Rock still, who's in sand, which is going to make him awesome. And he can take out Titar, and he can take out, you know, Infernape. And I've got Flygon, which I know can take out Infernape and Titar. And I've got Mantine, which I'm going to most likely potentially need for a Toxic on Blastoise. A Zelf also has Thunderbolt for it, just in case. A Zelf can also explode, which at this point, Explosion is going to kill any one of his guys. And it's Scarf, so I know I'm going to get it off. So I figure, you know what, Fortress is just my least useful guy, even though I know it's going to destroy Tyranitar if, it, if I you know, had that matchup. Um, it's just going to be my least effective at that point. So I foddered him out to Ape, go in for the Earth Power, which now that his Drift Bloom and Gligar are gone, Earth Power is going to be solid against everybody, so well, why not? Um, and I don't really have anything to fear here except for Hidden Power Electric, which would be really rare on a Blastoise, I think, with the exception of like a Specs or maybe a life orb sweeper set but i don't see too many of those um so i'm not too worried about it um i know that i don't want to use toxic just in case this guy comes back in i want to start getting protects and surfs off instead um because again i'm not very threatened by it offensively outside of a toxic of its own so i'm um, in comes t-tar on it now so i have some options i can switch i can stay in um and try and finish off with the surf but I end up switching right back to Flygon because I don't really know what he could do. I don't think he would carry Avalanche. That's way too old school for him. So Flygon's able to take one hit, and that's all I needed it to do was take one hit. So I get off Earth Power on it as something comes in. I don't care what it is that comes in at this point. Takes the Earth Power. Happens to be that fat cat, which is going to fake me out. But I should be able to survive the fake out. Um, so he goes for it. I do survive with, albeit not very much. Hey, all you need is one hit point. So I'm going to go for another Earth Power, finish this thing off, and then he's going to have a Tyranitar and a Blastoise, and that's not a very good situation to be when I got all the dudes that I have. So um, he hasn't, he still hasn't seen my Regirock and Sand or my Scarf as Elf either. So those are guys that a while ago, like I knew because I had him, the game was going to be in the bag, but he's still fighting it out. So I go out to Turpentine just to see if I can win the game without showing him those dudes at all. Um, see if I can get a Toxic on there and stuff like that. Um, surf just in case, because I need to kill him with damage at some point. And unfortunately, he roars me out, but it brings this guy back in. I'm like, show wheat! So, I know I'm not going to kill him in one hit, regardless of what move I pick. So I'm going to pick Draco Meteor, hope it doesn't miss. And then, hopefully, Mantine can come back in and finish the thing off before he roars me out. Um, but unfortunately, I did not do very much damage there at all. So things aren't looking good. Um, as far as being able to kill him without getting roared out of there. So I'm telling him in chat, I'm like, man, this would be great if I can get a crit right now and you can't roar the dudes out. So I'm going to go for Surf and try and get a crit. I could go for Ice Beam and try and get a Freeze Hacks, but uh, it's not going to work out that way. Um, he brings in Titar. I'm not quite sure why. I guess he figured he would... Well, yeah, he survived it quite well, of course. Um, and then... Do I still have something else survived, or did he just miss? Oh, no, that's what it is. Okay, I protect on the Stone Edge, because, um, yeah, I don't have anything to switch to. Um, he's going to be one point faster than me. We we talked about that in the chat. Um, since I didn't make this dude's EV spread, I would have given him a little bit more speed than he has, and unfortunately I lose out. So um, I'm going to go for a double protect, and, again, just trying to be a douche and trying to see if I can win the game without showing two of my guys is really all I'm doing at this point, trying to have fun with it. And uh, I end up scoring the double protect. So I score double protect, and then this upcoming turn, now that poison kills him, is when I'm telling him, look, I need a crit or I need a freeze hack, so I'm going to go for the crit with Surf, see if I can kill you before. And uh, I love how I get all the hacks after it doesn't matter. I get the double protect, and I called the freaking crit. I didn't kill him, but I called it. Um, Regirock comes out, but I don't even need to use him because Sand kills him first. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Had a lot of fun. Take it easy, and I'll catch you later. Peace.